urea cycle before discussing urea cycle in detail you must know the meaning of excretion the elimination of wasteful metabolites is called excretion water due to its removal in hypotonic solution is an excretory product whereas salts removed by animals of hypotonic solution are the excretory product for these animals nitrogenous waste metabolites constitute the main excretory product primarily in the catabolism of amino acids the amino group nh2 is released amino group released by deamination is dissolved in water and excreted to avoid toxic rise in the plasma like here you see this is proteins and proteins it is broken down into amino acids and these amino acids are catabolized into amino groups metabolism of nucleic acids that is purine and pyrimidine bases produces significant amount of nitrogenous waste mostly excess nitrogen is excreted by animals in the form of ammonia urea and uric acid ammonia is very toxic it dissolves quickly in body fluids so body requires large volume of water and is possible in hypotonic solution therefore mostly aquatic animals excrete ammonia animals inhabiting environment with acute shortage of water supply produce excretory product which require minimum amount of water birds reptiles in arid environment excrete uric acid which require only 1 ml of water to eliminate 1 g of nitrogen in restricted supply of water ammonia is changed into less toxic substance called urea it requires 50 ml water for 1 g of nitrogen removal in terrestrial animals mammals amphibians sharks some bony fishes the excretory nitrogen ammonia is metabolically converted to urea by urea cycle now let's see what urea cycle is it's the metabolic pathway in liver involved in the formation of urea from ammonia and carbon dioxide i repeat that it's the metabolic pathway in liver involved in the formation of urea from ammonia and carbon dioxide urea cycle has five steps first two steps takes place in mitochondria of hepatocytes that is liver cells and other three steps take place in cytoplasm of the hepatocytes So the first two steps takes place in mitochondria, and the rest of the three steps takes place in cytoplasm. Step number one is the synthesis of carbamoyl phosphate. Repeat after me: carbamoyl phosphate. I repeat: carbamoyl phosphate. whenever there is a name of an enzyme it ends with the suffix as so the enzyme used in this step is carbamoyl phosphate synthetase it is in the mitochondria and it catalyzes the condensation of ammonium ions with carbon dioxide to form carbamoyl phosphate this step consumes 2 atp now step number 2 is the synthesis of citrulline synthesis of citrulline repeat after me citrulline citrulline is synthesized from carbamoyl phosphate and ornithine by ornithine transcarbamoylase and then the citrulline it is transported to cytosol so ornithine transcarbamoylase condenses ornithine and carbamoyl phosphate to form citrulline Now step number 3 is the synthesis of arginosuccinate. Repeat after me, arginosuccinate. Arginosuccinate synthetase it condenses citrulline with aspartate to produce arginosuccinate. This step requires ATP. So this step also requires energy. I repeat the synthesis of arginosuccinate arginosuccinate synthetase the enzyme used condenses citrulline with aspartate to produce arginosuccinate and this step requires ATP now students step number 4 is the synthesis of arginine it's the synthesis of arginine repeat after me 
arginine. Now in this step what happens is that Argininosuccinase, the enzyme used is Argininosuccinase. It cleaves Argininosuccinate to arginine and fumarate. Arginine and fumarate. So this enzyme, it cleaves Argininosuccinate to arginine and fumarate. In arginine, it is the immediate precursor to urea. Now the step number five, which is the ultimate step, is the formation of urea. The formation of urea. The enzyme uses arginase. Arginase is fifth and final enzyme that cleaves arginine to yield urea and ornithine. So this enzyme cleaves arginine to yield urea and ornithine. And ornithine is reused in urea cycle. Ornithine, it is then reused in the urea cycle. Now let's see diagrammatically. Carbon dioxide and ammonia ions forms carbamoyl phosphate. It is then converted to citrulline when it is condensed with ornithine. And then citrulline, it is then condensed, condensed into arginosuccinate with aspartate. And then arginosuccinate, it is then cleaved into fumarate and arginine. And arginine, it is then cleaved into ornithine and urea. That is the waste product which is released outside the body through kidneys and ornithine is then reused in the urea cycle. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.